one thing too. We got to take rejection better, y'all. Because the people who is pulling out guns and shooting at people and attacking people or calling them like names and being like slurs and shit. Where was that energy when you was trying to holler at me? Like, now I'm, now I'm a bitch? Now I'm ugly? You wasn't saying that when you was trying to get my number and invite me over to your place? Like, I'm confused. Pause. Brian looks good every day. Let's not even go there. But I'm still ratchet royalty, okay? <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to all you beautiful people out there in the world, and welcome back to the Royal Gang, y'all. It's Gemini season, y'all. It's Gemini season, and your boy looks great. Okay, he's glowing, he's ready. For those who can't tell, the nails are done. Yes, they are done, okay? I haven't had my nails done since my last birthday. Well, actually, I'm lying. I had them done recently, but like, stilettos. Stilettos, folks. Yeah, the club, okay? I have not had stilettos since last year when y'all saw me in my last birthday vlog. So, to give a little backstory, my birthstone is emerald. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get my favorite color is also green. So I was like, I'm gonna get green because you know, I'm turning 25 on the 25th of the fifth month, okay? I was, this is the golden year. This is an important year. And I was, this is special. I've been waiting for this birthday for like 15 years. So I was like, let me do something different. And I really fucks with it, low key. I really fucks with it. Like she really did what needs to be done. She's being a little aggressive, but she did what needs to be done. And now I'm back with the, all my girls and gay boys, y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know what time it is. What's up? Okay, okay. <laughs> but y'all, I came to y'all today because I was like, let me talk to y'all before, you know, my birthday becomes my birthday. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, before I do the things that I'm doing for my birthday, I'm not gonna reveal anything too soon, but just know y'all gonna get a vlog, so you already know what's coming. But today, I was like, let me do a mukbang. We gonna talk. We just gonna talk, you know what I'm saying? So, without further ado where flavor gets its wings. For right. Okay, y'all, so I should have ate this before I got my nails done because I actually ordered it before I got my nails done. I just didn't eat it because I didn't have time because she was like, all right, your nail appointment. And I was like, all right, hold on. Baby. But um, for those who don't like blue cheese, I don't understand. I know people always tell me like, ill blue cheese. Like, I'm a ranch bitch. I feel like a lot of black people always talk about ranch. And I just be like, ranch is good, but then they be like, blue cheese. And I'd be like, all right, well, to each his own. Whatever, I don't care. You like what you like, I like what I like. I grew up with blue cheese, I like blue cheese. And it's just that. Now, y'all, I didn't know that, y'all get low-key like a, <gasps> I'm trying to do a little, what's the name, what's ASMR with y'all? I need a speaker though, a little microphone, I mean. So I did take a little bite bite, but I didn't really eat eat. That's <laughs> like a little key, eat eat. I didn't really eat eat. So I never knew what the fuck Cajun corn was. Like Cajun fried corn. Has anybody ever heard of that? Like, let me know if you heard of that because I was just gonna get fries. And then I saw this as an option. I was like, you know, let me be different. Like I'm trying new shit. Like, let me be different. And I was just like, okay, I'm gonna try it. Like, let's see what it's giving. Like, I don't know. We gonna see. And of course I got my fruit punch cause I love fruit punch with stuff. I don't know why I love fruit punch when I just do. But, for those know, you know I don't drink regular stuff when I'm doing any type of story time or mukbang or video usually. So I got a little spike spike, a little spike. This is 100% agave, blanco tequila, nat natural lime juice, and triple sec, okay? Can y'all see it? Give y'all a little ASMR. Oh, there you go, you see the, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> now let's see if I can open this bitch, child. I ain't had nails in a minute. Navigating this is not easy, but I learned the last time for the most part, so now I'm better. Pour all that shit in here. We about to have a late night. Okay, shit, if I don't do something after this, y'all, I'm gonna do <laughs> What Orlando Bloom say? I said, not Orlando Bloom. <laughs> Orlando Brown, child. Let's see what it gives. Probably strong as a bitch because I ain't having much punch in it. Mmm. Actually, really good. Y'all should try it. You want some? <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm going to try this corn. Y'all want to try this corn with me? Come on. Let's see what it gives. Like, I'm just like, first of all, they cut it up. But I'm also like, how many corns was it? I'm just, 
I want to see. Uh, I wish I really had a microphone right here, but I'm gonna try to be as loud as possible. Can y'all hear me? Hold on, come closer, come closer, come closer. <laughs> I'm so stupid. It's not bad, it's spicy as I expected, like Cajun obviously, but I don't know. I need some salt or something, I don't know. Y'all, I love legs. Legs over, um, what's the names? Flats. Cause I'd be like, no. That's how I was like, look. When I find me a man, I hope he like flats. So then we could just split it and it'd be like, be even. Like I get my, my drums, you get your flats. But also, like, look, if we both like drums, I find somebody who like drums, I'm like, look, we can be fighting over the drums. Like, we might have to be like, all right, you get down, I can do some, because, the fuck? Y'all want the chicken too? Hold on, give me. I got lemon pepper. And then I also got this, um, what is this called? Louisiana dry rub. That's what I got. That's what the one I'm eating right now, actually. My lemon pepper's on the bottom. I mixed them up for a second. Yeah. I got that. I was gonna get something hot or barbecue, but I was like, no, but you gotta get your nails done. You're gonna have a hard time trying to do all of that. And then it's messy, all the sauce under your nails and shit. And I was just like, I right, don't even worry about it. I just want dry, dry wings okay get the dry wings so i got the dry louisiana rub and i got the lemon pepper which is also dry obviously y'all know and if you don't know then you know okay so i was like i'm not getting nothing under my nails i ain't got time for that but mm, bitch about to choke Damn. oh for a second i forgot i put that in there oh child you might be lit anyway Y'all birthday coming out. Oh my God, birthday coming out. <laughs> my birthday tomorrow. It's not tomorrow, but I just like that video. Um, yo, I'm so excited. What um Chris um I said Chris. Who the fuck? What Kevin Hart say? So excited. So excited. So excited. So excited. I'm just like. Bruh, this is like the birthday I really want you for. Like, a lot of people be like, oh yeah, my birthday is coming up, like, and they be excited, but like, this is real special. Like, this, y'all don't understand, this is a quarter of a century, okay? To be a quarter of a century, do you understand? To be a quarter of a century, like, what does that mean? It's crazy. Mmm. Mmm, come on, lemon pepper. Oh, it's crazy, a lot of black people love lemon pepper. And I'm not too, like, I'm not too big of a fan. It's not my go-to. I know it's a lot of people's go-to, but it's not my go-to. Like, my go-to is either, like, hot wings, mild wings, barbecue, or, um, what's the other one? That, um, habanera, 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 something like that? Yeah, that's the ones I usually get. Cause, I mean, pepper is cool, but it's salty to me. I'd be like, ooh, this is too salty. Mm -mm. Anybody got time for that? But nevertheless, y'all, <laughs> let's just put it out there now. Y'all, my peoples, I trust y'all. Say, now I'm gonna give a fuck. I'm grown. Your boy not celibate no more. Your boy is not celibate no more. The, vir the virginity is gone. <laughs> my virginity is gone. For those who, you know, 
have been following me or subscribed to me from the, the jump, you know that I was on my way to uh, being just about a couple months actually. Um, two years celibate and recently that changed and I don't regret it at all I really don't I don't regret it at all y'all because I feel like if you also know I'm a demisexual and I have to have an emotional connection, basically is what it means for those who don't know. You have to have an emotional attachment or connection to someone before you give them any type of sexual, you know, contact. And if y'all like, if y'all reach the time in your relationship where you're like, okay, I have this emotional connection to you and I feel close to you. And then you feel like, okay, now I can give you my body. Then that's, that's that. Like, that's pretty much what it is. Getting close to a person emotionally to then give them yourself to them physically. And I feel like I reached that point. And it happened. And I don't regret it at all, okay? Because I'm living my life like it's golden. I don't know how to do this no more. I'm like, damn, this whole dating shit. Let's talk about that. That's what we get into, this type dating shit. Dating in the gay world is so difficult. Like, maybe in general, but like, I feel like the gay world is just like a queer world in general. Cause not everybody identifies gay, okay? But it's like, bro, if I essentially If I go out somewhere and I see someone who's like, is physically appealing, whether they find me physically appealing or not, it's like, who is gonna make that move? And that's the problem I feel like we have in the community. It's like, everybody wants that chase, but once they get you, they don't keep up that same shit. Like, they get you, and then it's like, oh, well, they show you like, oh, a good time, and then it's like, they don't keep that same energy. Or it's just like, people are scared. Everybody wants to be approached. It's either one or the other, in my opinion, or sometimes both, goddamn. But it's like, everybody wants to be approached. I'm public, like, it's like, everybody wants to be approached. Somebody gotta make the first move. Like, somebody gotta make the first move. And me, typically, I make the first move. Because if I really want somebody, or I find somebody attractive, I'm gonna come up to you and let you know. Like, I'm gonna be like, I think you're very handsome. Like, you're very handsome. Like, I'm gonna start a conversation. Naturally, Gemini's are flirtatious. Yes, we know. But that doesn't always mean we want you. Okay, let's get that clear. Like, we can flirt with you, Gemini's, but we don't want you. We just flirting, okay? Because we bored or we just like want to see how you respond. We like responses, that's all. But when you get that same energy, then it's like, whoa, I was just playing. <laughs> Hold on. I was just playing. <laughs> I'm going to go. Peace out. But if it's somebody that we're actually genuinely interested in and we're flirting with them, like, and then you get that energy back, it's like, oh, great. But that's rare. And I feel like, why can't we be like back in the times? Like, I know generations are changing and like technology's here now, but why can't we be back in the times where it's like, oh, we go out and be somebody naturally? Like, all these apps. I feel like for black queer people, for black people in general, we got black, be okay. That's what a lot of people are using to meet, you know, fellow black people, whether straight or gay or anything else. Um, Tinder, Jacked, Grinder, Child, what else? Adam for Adam. And then most of them are hookup apps, in my opinion. Or most of them are hookup apps, child speak. So I'm like, nine out of 10, you never really know if somebody really wants you for sex or they genuinely want to get to know you. And it's like, sometimes you can ask and people will tell you one or the other, but sometimes people be lying. It'd be like, yeah, I wanna get to know you, da da da. Now you wanna get to know me because you wanna fuck me. And then when you fuck me, you are gonna be like, all right, I'm good. Cause nine times out of 10, you don't really want to know me. Everything you saw was physical. It was never like, oh, I'm emotionally like indulged in this person. Like I wanna really get to know who the fuck this is. That's rare. It's really rare. So I feel like that leaves us all stagnant when it comes to dating, because it's like, fuck. And then I'm sure it's my heterosexual um, counterparts 
can relate because it's like, damn, well, like, if I go out and I find you attractive and I approach you and you reject me, well, you reject me. And that's one thing, too. We got to take rejection better, y'all, because the people who is pulling out guns and shooting at people and attacking people or calling them, like, names and being, like, slurs and shit, where was that energy when you was trying to holler at me? Like, now I'm, now I'm a bitch? Now I'm ugly? You wasn't saying that when you was trying to get my number and invite me over to your place? Like, I'm confused. But now I'm a bitch, and now I'm a thot, or now I'm a hoe, or all the things in between. It's like, bro, why did the change happen? Like, your ego got hurt, and now you're trying to use this coping mechanism. But now it's a violent coping mechanism, because now it's pertaining to me and my safety, and I don't fuck with that. I let you down, like, securely, and I was like, you know what? Respectfully, I would like to decline your offer, period. And that's how it be, like, respectfully. Now, if it was disrespectful, that's a different story, but that don't mean you gotta be shooting at nobody. I never condone that. Don't be shooting at nobody because they rejected you. But if somebody kind of got disrespectful and was like, no, bitch, the fuck, get fuck up, like, da, 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 da. If you kept bothering them, then you probably, you probably deserved it. But if it was like a subtle, like, what's your name? And he was like, fuck out of here, motherfucker. Like, cause I know some New Yorkers can be like that. Okay, that's New York for your ass. But it just depends. So just approach people right. Like y'all be wild. I don't know. I don't know, child. I don't to be single forever. Honestly, I'm coming to terms so that's okay. Honestly, because Look at me. I know I'm not ugly. Let's be real. I know I'm not ugly. Okay. We all got insecurities, but baby. I'm far from ugly, okay? So I genuinely think, internally or externally, but I genuinely think people just can't deal with me. You know, people can't deal with you. It's like, you don't got the balls to deal with me and take, you know, all of this love, but all of this, you know, chaos. Cause I'm like, you know, I'm a Gemini. I can be a, ah! So if you can deal with that, use a real one. A real. Mm. We're gonna see what happens though. With just one person. We're gonna see what happens and it's gonna be what's gonna be. I'm ready for whatever. Okay. Sorry, he's gonna feel so special that I mentioned him in this video. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm getting full. I ain't eating this corn. I need to put some salt on it, low key. I might say that. Cause, cause, ah, uh, uh. I'm trying to go to Essence Festival to see Nikki because y'all know I'm a huge barb and I would feel like a fake ass barb if I didn't go to fucking Essence Fest. I'm like, damn, like Nikki hasn't performed in so long live, and she performs at Essence Fest, and I don't go. What do I look like? I like a fake ass bar, like, no. All the robots will make some shake and I will make some shake. I'm so go. So, we're gonna make it happen. And if I don't, I'm gonna just cry on a video and just like post it, if y'all can see it. <laughs> and we just sit here like. <laughs> okay. I'm excited, it's your night season, y'all. Act right. Mercury has been in Gatorade, so make sure that you are protecting yourself. You are, you know, thinking before you speak. You are double checking all your transportation before anything happens because, you know, it takes over transportation, communication, and technology. So, yes, make sure you are not sending text messages or communicating with somebody you don't need to communicate with. Make sure that, you know, text messages are sending to the right people in general. And yeah, make sure you communicate effectively and just, uh, yeah, because Mercury out here, okay? You gotta, hmm, okay. 
just make sure because they don't be they don't be playing so far honestly like compared to last year y'all this mercury and retrograde like has been really good for me like it's been great like it's making me really evaluate a lot of my communication that i've been having it's getting better but also even more i think as a whole my life is just uplifting like it's going in a positive direction and i think it's the perfect time because like it's about to be my another year around the sun it's about to be a new cycle a new year a new era so i'm just like okay this is it this is it this is it it's like these next couple days before my birthday i'm like i'm going up i'm going up to a roller coaster all the changes are happening all the you know the last minute like do -do 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 fixtures and then i'm just go shoo and it's not gonna be like it's gonna be a downfall it's not gonna be a downfall it's gonna be a because right now i'm just going up 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 but then once i get to my birthday it's just gonna go like skyrocket and just boom straight up way up i feel blessed okay straight up straight up but yeah, i'm gonna put this away and put it in the freaking what's the name because i'm getting full and I can say this for another time and I'm gonna chill. But nevertheless, no stress. Too cute, too press. A bar. So you know, I don't like I ain't like that. I don't like the word cute. Y'all, I don't like the word cute, fun fact. I feel like cute sounds so juvenile. Just like talking. People are like, oh, we're talking. I like, are you in middle or high school? Like, y'all talking? Okay, what y'all talking about? Like, <laughs> I feel like that's what I think of when I hear talking. I'd be like, oh yeah, it makes sense for like middle or high schoolers. Like you're talking, yeah, you are talking because you damn sure ain't dating. You can't do shit yet, for real, for real. But um, yeah, I just think talking's a very juvenile word. That's just my opinion. But also cute is too. When I hear cute, I think of oh, a puppy or like, you know, a child. A child is cute. A puppy is cute. A kitten is cute. A grown ass man cute hmm he's probably attractive he's probably handsome he's probably sexy he's probably zaddy <laughs> okay you know what i'm saying he probably fun fun but cute hmm at that point you might as well call him ugly okay that's just me but like i said nevertheless no stress too bad to be pressed Mm. That one was cute. I like that one. <laughs> all in all, if your crown ever falls, pick it up and learn that lesson. <laughs> ah! Because I always do. Okay, you gotta learn that lesson or you ain't gonna ever grow. Okay, shout out to grow. Shout out to, um, you know, Mental Health Awareness Month. Check your mental health, okay? I have a video. My writing was right. My last writing was right. I have all the resources that you need, okay? And all the places that are for people of color. No matter what spectrum you are on, straight, gay, queer, whatever, okay? That's that on that. But yes, your crown of falls. Pick it up and learn that lesson. Peace, love, and blessings. This is Royalty Rye, and he says goodbye.